Now let's review the develop project management plan process in the sixth edition of the Pinbox in the Crowd Trainings Interactive Course. Now this one I think is pretty simple to remember because you have your inputs, obviously, while we're starting, and we had our project charter. So if I kind of make it this little fancy chart and paperwork, so that's your project charter. It essentially set out what's to be done at a very high level and to what amount and etc. It, it is chartering, it's setting things out that we are going to make our plans off of. So this is definitely an input because it really sets the course of where we need to go and why. So the project charter is one input and then the other inputs um, really are all the outputs of everything else. Because if you think about the project management plan being sort of like this huge filing cabinet of, and it, it consists of all the other plans, all the other outputs, you know, the baselines and the file folders and, you know, binders, everything else that we plan for and want to prepare for. Well, all of those plans must be organized in some sort of way. So all those outputs from all the other outputs the processes are then inputs here to the project management plan and then of course you always have the various different templates and policies and procedures that you have and I like to draw a very simple binder um, or maybe even a group of binders if you have a bunch of different policies and procedures that you must need to follow and those are your OPAs your organizational process assets and then how you run things within your organization or your business, we like to consider you as your enterprise environmental factors. So it's a bunch of buildings that I'm representing as the companies. And those then are your inputs. And those inputs then are going to, well, have a few different tools and techniques that make the project management plan come together. And this is integration management. So it's integrating all of those various different plans. And so sometimes you just need to have a good sense of how that is to go. So you might have some very smart people or some experienced people within your organization that knows how to think about this and, uh, and do it. And they have all these great ideas. And here, I'm gonna make them wah, smiling. <laughs> so you have the expert judgment as one and just you know how you work within your environment how you work within your OPAs and maybe even have a PMO that has a lot of expertise in it and then really you're gathering all these plans from all these different outputs so you're you're having uh, meetings and conversations and you're organizing it and having presentations and discussions and conference calls and all those kind of things so the definitely meetings is one of them and then the other ways of doing it could just be generalized as data gathering. So how you go about putting this plan together, what's the best practice of putting it together, um, and everything else that might be associated. Maybe it's the, um, the way that you have conversations, the way that you brainstorm, maybe the way that you um, just put the materials together. And even how you go about doing it in your own skills, so your own personal and in the team's skills of doing it you know that the ways that you have these conversations the way that um, you're able to present to speak in front of others maybe the way that you can um, keep following up maybe maybe you know a good way of using email and um, and other tools that are associating the different plans and, and putting them together and coordinating them all and maybe dealing with different opinions and conflicts and and just navigating all those emotional pieces in those waters so those are the various tools and techniques and the obvious output if the whole thing is about developing a project management plan well then you should have that project management plan whether I draw it as like the full um, filing cabinet with all the different plans in it and I'll just call it the project management plan or PMP and that you're pulling these drawers out that have all the plans within them or it's just where you're saying just the one master plan and um, maybe maybe I'll draw it as a big binder or something because it's uh, all 
all the different plans all rolled up into one, and that is what we consider as the output of the development management plan. See, very pr basic, pretty straightforward, and that's the inputs, tools, and techniques of Develop Project Charter.